Hello! In this video, I'll show you how to perform risk analysis in any logistics. We'll consider the supply chain of a shoe supplier in Quignon and Port of Vong Tau in Vietnam, Port of Kobe, two sites in Itami and Tokyo, and 50 customers in the largest cities in Japan. Let's check out the scenario data, which includes customers, ports and distribution centers, shoe supplier, information about the product, Periodic weekly demand for each customer. The demand is proportional to the population of the cities. Ordered products are expected to be received by the customer within two days. The not allowed back order policy means that if the required number of products is not available for shipping, the order will be canceled. Inventory replenishment for ports is regulated by order on demand inventory policy. This means that ports don't keep products in stock. The required number of products is ordered only after receiving an order from distribution centers. As for the DCs, their inventory replenishment is regulated by min-max inventory policy with safety stock. In this case, products are ordered when the inventory level falls below a fixed replenishment point equal to min plus safety stock. The ordered quantity is set to such a value that the resulting inventory quantity is equal to max plus safety stock. The required inventory for sites is replenished by ordering the necessary product from a source in accordance with the sourcing policy. Here the source is defined directly for all sites. Vehicle types. Paths connect location points within the supply chain by the specific vehicle type. Facility expenses. Events. This table is used to define events that will affect the data of the scenario during runtime. What will happen if the rainy season starts in Vietnam, demand changes, or production suspends. If you want to stress test the supply chain in emergency situations, you can assess particular what-if scenarios with the risk analysis experiment. Let's run the experiment and analyze the results. The results are available in the dashboard below the experiment's view in the form of statistics, distributed through the tabs on the left. Let's familiarize ourselves with the corresponding data. Target service level depicts the type of statistic that is specified in experiment properties. History by replication shows all results, and best, mean, worst filters the required statistics data to present only the best, mean, and worst values of target service level. The events and recovery tab shows detailed statistics on the events that took place and the recovery time during which the supply chain was running below the specified failure service level. Total cost shows detailed statistics on all the incurred expenses for all replications and their best, mean, and worst values. Revenue depicts statistics on the income generated by a facility from selling products to customers. Profit, which is calculated as revenue received minus total cost total quantity of product items received by the customer, number of products contained in the lost orders, product quantity contained in the orders that a customer dropped, the quantity of product items that were delivered, and failed to arrive within the specified expected lead time. As you can see, there were no late orders. This is due to the set back order policy, which means if DC available inventory isn't enough to fulfill the customer order with the required products, the order will be dropped. Mean delivery time. Max delivery time. Bull whip effect by product shows statistics on the supply chain inefficiencies, where orders sent to the manufacturer and supplier create larger variants than the sales to the end customer. Supply chain operations are tightly connected with risks and uncertainties which must be considered for proper strategic supply chain design and planning. This complicates the planning process and sets high standards for the agility and robustness of the supply chain. The risks must be identified to properly design a delivery network, to find policies, and plan actions in case of an emergency. Any logistics allows users to replicate a supply chain network and simulate its operations, making allowances for the uncertainties and stochastics of the real world. Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to use any logistics to solve your supply chain challenges, please feel free to contact us by email.